Hey, look, we're back. Where were we last left? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, where was the sound? Anyway, where we last left off, we were continuing the main story, finally. Seriously, don't this, doesn't that guy on the right look like Putin? And the guy on the left kind of look like the, the current Chinese uh, president or whatever his name is. Is it president? Are they elected? I don't know. You know, the guy who gets upset if you call him, they say he looks like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> who has Winnie the Pooh banned over there because of that. Hey. You must think you're pretty tough. I bet I can take you. Don't tempt me. But yeah, because we just kind of had a package for him, I can just kind of walk in there. Why is the ceiling already cracked? Yo, that's not a good look, fam. Ooh, this is free. Is this free too? Nope. Ah, oh, there's nothing in there. But yeah, glad to be back. Even though it's only been two days. How did you get in here? I walked in. Hey. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? I feel like I know that voice actor. Oh my law. Captain. Captain. That's the minister. Mr. Clark. Oh wow. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. Right? If this is about another aether wave clip or radial spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Any more? What are you talking about? Slowly and loudly. Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. Yeah, and soul person. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. I'm just here, calm down, I'm just here to ask some questions. Then you're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Uh, wait, you think I'm a dissident? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term. Are you kidding me? Which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. I have any kind of free will and I'm a dissident? I'm looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. <sighs> I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. I'm I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Look, I'm I Will that be all then? You're making it really hard to not shoot you. Why do you keep talking like that? Stars are getting denser by the day. I shall endeavor to speak more slowly. Is this better? Why do people talk <laughs> talk like that? Like the <laughs> Stop that. I understand you just fine. You you do? Yes. Oh, this is such a relief. You've no idea how long it's been since I spoke to someone with more than a modicum of intelligence. Oh my god, when I come in here with Basher, my idiot character, it's going to be so good. <sighs> What's going on here? Chairman Rock kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name, but this proves it. Yeah, sure. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. And you just made me just believe this? After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Yeah, the quiet before the storm. Me. Things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most that is kind of convenient that it just happens to be someone else, though, right? Do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of dissident hunter. You seem a little too excited about all this. We're discussing industrial espionage. Legal redress. 
the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. That's depressing. At any rate, I'm glad to have someone else on my side. I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Now, we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis district, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. Okay. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. Sorry about that. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnel, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. Yeah, all the mechanicals down there killing people. That doesn't sound good. Uh, well, actually, no. Obvious reasons? They're rather dirty. Wait, that's what you think? There are also rumors of sprat infestation. Yeah, there's that. There's that. Other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. Nah, not really. So once I get into the Apoc uh, Apocalypse District, what then? When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. What used to be your office? Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. Hmm. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. How did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Do I want to know? I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few hmm. advantages to dealing with imbeciles. It's kind of depressing, but he's right. Uh, well, thanks for your help? Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message room. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why are you trusting me to help you? Why indeed. I know so little about you, much less your motivation. Truth be told, I just want to help the hope. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. Besides, I have nothing to lose. If you're looking into Rockwell, I can only hope you're also looking out for Halcyon. Honestly, I'm more so looking out for the people in the hope. But, eh, I guess it's just kind of coinciding, I suppose. What's on the cartridge, anyway? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try. But the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. I don't think we have that long. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, it's something, I guess. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis District. Well then. That was a lot more cordial than I expected. What's in the box, by the way? Eh, nothing I have worth stealing. Huh. That was incredibly easy to get through. Ooh, look, a back door. What's back out here? So yeah, I've been playing a stupid amount of Monster Hunter lately, because, you know, Iceborne coming out, that game's really fun. If there's any like, real fan requests to see me doing my hunts, I might do some. But for the most part, I'm just kind of passively playing the game. Leveling up my older, my other hunting horns, which, which I've been putting off. Because hunting horns really, really fun with its new move. Where you put your hunting horn on the ground and then you spin it like it's a guitar or something. It's great. Wait, can I have, like, parkour? Oh, why am I lagging? Yo, I could have parkour up here. That's cool. Ooh, mag. Magnum. So, wait, can I? No. So, can I, like? Yeah. Oh, I see. So I could have gone up, and then I could have just... Now I can just parkour down now. So I could have, like, snuck around here, and then I could have found some way. Ow, my legs. That's neat. Well, let's go to the Acropolis Dictress. District. God, I want to kill half these people so badly. 
Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. Wait, um, mind if I take a breather? I'm kind of pretty tired from after hauling around all these bits. You could have asked me, you know. <laughs> what in the law's name are you on about? You know what? No, this is embarrassing. I was gonna bribe you, but I realize I don't have enough on me. Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from the top? <laughs> I'm not looking for trouble. I just went in. Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. Hammersmith, the most trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis district. You don't know that. Hey, were you awarded most person's profile six non-consecutive months in a row? I didn't think so. Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. You don't know me because I'm new to the job. I'm just starting on the ministry tomorrow. You're new to the ministry? You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? Would you believe it? Punch my ticket out of Edgewater. Good riddance. Handing out promotions like... Anti Cleo, better than nature. Are you? So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. If I ever find the cart who stiffed me, I'm going to censor him a strongly worded memo. You do that. Yeah, all right. You're good to go. Thanks. Could also gun my way in here, but, you know, there's no reason for excessive. Same. I could have. Eh, I think it's just better to just kind of walk my way through. So yeah, I've been playing Monster Hunter, upgrading my hunting horns. That's fun. And you know what? Okay, you know what's in gaming news right now? What's really important in gaming news? Someone obviously got paid. Someone got paid to do a really cute animation where a bunch of cat-like beings. Hawk one on the floor. Not really. No. Where these incredible like little beings, cat-like beings, were made to cook food. Someone got paid to animate that, and that makes me really happy. Hello. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Can I just uh A UDL secured so what if all those MSI suits made it on Monarch this whole time? I could do it. Easy. Can I just like uh Walk on in. Say your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Is this efficient enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. Looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. You're you better be joking. I'm not authorized to employ humor on the job, sir. That's depressing. Now, well, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of form? Oh, what a shame. You don't have to be sarcastic about it. I think I kind of have to. Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HHC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. They'll try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your gut. That's fair. Don't worry, I'm more or less peaceful. I wish I could stop pulling out my gun by using the talk button, but, you know. Let's see anything personal in life. You know what's really personal? After the day I had today, I'm thinking about actually maybe getting out of teaching. It, today was just so utterly stressful. The fact that I have this one problem student who continues to be a problem student, the parent keeps blaming me, and now the administration's forcing me to change the way I'm teaching, even though I have like a 90% success rate with my students so far, but it's that 10% who's the problem? Clearly I'm just a bad teacher. Clearly I need to change my ways. And now my students are going to be upset at me because I'm changing my ways. Here's how I teach. Hey kids, if you want to go play with your switches, your electronics and stuff, go to it in the back of the class, don't disturb the rest of my class. But if you fail the next test, not on me. And then after about half fail the first test or quiz, they start listening because most of them don't want to tell their parents, oh yeah, I failed because I wasn't paying attention to class because I was playing on my games. So if you want to play your games, go ahead. But if you fail, it's not on me. 
yeah so i have like one bad test or, or quiz at the start of each uh at the start of my school year and then after that the kids pipe up the kids do better and it's been working because i give the students the respect that they deserve and i'm willing to do that extra step to make sure they listen right but then we have this one parent who then you have that one parent who's like oh i heard how you teach kids and uh, clearly you shouldn't be doing something else i mean it's working for all the other kids so i mean well it's obviously not working for mine so you need to change your way of teaching just because of everyone else i'm so tempted to rat out the child to the other students and let's let them handle it but i'm just tired of the administration and the parents so i'm thinking about switching off teaching i don't know yet we'll see percival platt if you'll forgive my saying so that outfit looks splendid on you thank you so what exactly do you do here Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Any chance I can meet Chairman Rockwell? Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else? Um, I'll be on my way. Fun fact, uh, if you're speedrunning this game, apparently, from what I saw, you're supposed to, like, hide behind this pot, take out everybody in here using a sniper rifle, and then, uh, gather the stuff and just run through to get the, to get a card key in there, because that's what I saw from the speedrun. Lying Earth. There's no way I can get inside of there. Well, peacefully. I understand you're Maverick Johnston's new star. Well done. Thank you. Exciting. The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. Will there be any... Is there, like... You sure there's no way I can just kind of just walk on in? Locked. Damn. Hmm. Sealed. There's no way that I can just kind of... Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, really? Excuse me, just a moment. Oh, yes? I beg your pardon. Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. You should be getting back to your desk. I just saw someone eyeing your stationery. What? Oh, dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Right? It must, it's like the worst. Now, excuse me, I'm out of here. Okay, what's going on in here? They bust down the wall to this room. Hey, hey, close the door. I'm trying to be sneaky. We got a mag pick here. That's stealing. Yoink. Get rid of Mr. Clark's stuff. Procebio claims the real leather sofa. Tear down the rest of the wall. Check to see if the wall is loaded is load bearing. Do before two. Why don't you just move it to? Install steam bath of wow. Install wet bar next to steam bath. Finish everything before Chairman Rockwell returns. Should be number one. One person gets all this space. Just to, to sign papers all day. Ever seen the president, man? Got some patch pipe. Nothing in the cabinets. Still that. Another bar here. I mean, I know this job can be stressful, but geez, man, do you need this much alcohol? Wine, vodka. I still feel bad about killing that one guard. I would legitimately did not want him to die. What I wanted to do was just knock him out through alcohol, you know? So what's in here? View priority message. The rough cut of the presentation is prepped to play. The PR department has a lot to work to do, but here we've covered the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board scientists are working on a solution. Workers can look forward to a lifetime employment program for their chance to contribute. You'll see the current version when you print your key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Yes, before you ask, the, the dimethyl sulfide has been delivered there. It's waiting for your sign up on the broad stroke, so I wanted to make sure you saw it. Don't worry, I'll make sure to get it properly edited. Well, well, let's, uh, let's send the message first. Three to nine months for your message complete transit, of course. Print the key card. Good afternoon. 
I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Bullshit. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living <laughs> from malnutrition. Just say die. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. Dying together? I swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. <laughs> Who was that? Take 128? There's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the oh. continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this. While Halcyon I want to see how many takes it is. The problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis. So that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. Wait, so, wait, they can't put jokes in your things, but you can? In the future, when we solve this crisis, we'll all be back together again, working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, Follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the board that treats its employees like actual slaves and robots. Yeah, no. Oh, no, it's most definitely real. Right? Over slowly starving to death. Personal files. What's taking so long? How long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Toss Clark's belongings to the streets of Bizantium for all I care. He's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. I'm tired of staring at the hole in the wall. For law's sake, do something about the doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make an announcement that sounds like a damn funeral allergy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> masseuse? Reschedule my regular Wednesday masseuse. I have urgent matters to attend to off-site. Food reserves. I have inquiries and confirmed that we have plenty of real food stored away from our interclinary trade. The nutritional pr profile of food produced from Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start feeling hungry no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies. But we, what we have will sustain Byzantium and minimal workforce for a foreseeable future. But fuck everybody else, right? The head of the other nine operations are up in arms about the shares again. As the head of the UDL, you could overrule them easily, but I thought you should know that they're at it again. I think this is sealed. So this place, so the colony is slowly starting to fall apart, and the people at the at the upper level are seeking to only protect themselves. In other news, government in general. Let me look at the map real quick. Can I like look at the world map? Or no, I can only do it from the ship. All right, then we'll come back to that later. Well, I know where the thing is now, so I can't teleport from here, can I? Oh, I can. Nice. Well, let's go back to the district. So yeah, the colony is slowing down to fall apart. People are going to starve. But the higher-ups are like, oh, we'll protect ourselves. Screw everybody at the lower levels. I guess they do have a plan. But knowing everything else that these people do, I don't really trust them to do their job. Office clerk, office clerk, office clerk. Well, I'm not an office clerk. I have a pass to get in here. Most weapons can perform up to three quick swing combos. Some unique weapons can do fewer or many more. Oh yeah, the unique weapons in this game are pretty cool. It's taking a while to get. It takes a while to get used to their like sway compared to. Cause I'm just, I'm just so used to combat from Fallout that this different kind of combat just feels weird, you know. Hey. It is nice that I can kind of just walk around freely instead of going in having to go in guns blazing. Hooray for... Ooh, this is a restricted area, huh? Ooh. I don't have the access codes to get into the restricted area. Hmm. Guard Holtz. Not so fast. 
The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. It's okay. I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman and Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Well, I mean, you are a doctor. X-36 clearance only beyond this point. How's this for clearance? I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Let me through right now, or your official record won't fit for the polishing floors. What? Waste my time, and I'll bury you so deep in citations, you'll die from paper cuts before you crawl out. Oh no. You must be from Chairman Rockwell's office. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> I don't want to bully people, but I gotta get going, man. Come on. Kind of, kind of bullied this guy, didn't I? I, I just wanted to get through, but oh, hmm. Hey, is there anything upstairs I can handle or do? How you doing? We got in here, Derbish mist and stuff, oxy comp, random guards. It is nice having like this stupidly high defense or stupidly high persuade that I can just kind of talk people into doing what I want. I've always liked that. Oh, who are you? Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Fair well. Fair enough. You keep working. Don't bother me. Or I won't bother you. You got work to do. I got a universe to save. Or not a universe. I got a galaxy to save, more or less, at this point. At the end of the day, I still just want to help these people, you know, not have to deal with bullshit litigation to live. Oh. Oh, no. Hmm. I wonder where I can get the restricted thing from here. Can I, like, pickpocket you from this angle? Shh, I'm safe's coming. Don't tell nobody. But yeah, can I pickpocket you from this angle and you not see me? Yep. No, I'm not gonna take your stuff, though, man. Corporate recruit. Rumor has it someone pulling double up until the retirement district is refreshed. Oh, so you know. Easy. So you know something's wrong with the pirate district. Okay, good to know. Just gonna close this. Come on in, guys. Hey, how's it going? Stealing elevator there. What's in here? Locked door? Find door number one. Okay, so I could have just snuck, snuck straight forward and get in here. Okay. And then I could have snuck around here. But I don't need to, because I'm a good liar. Oh yeah, you could have easily just snuck through there, then over here and inside. Excuse me. I work with Mr. Rockwell. Good thing your litigation's tying you guys up so much in knots that not everyone knows all the things going on. Makes my job easier. You bunch of lit litigating dumbasses. Ha ha. Bureaucracy loses again. Okay, so what do we look like, by the way? Is that UDL outfits? Seems like it. Okay, so. One moment. Get my bearings and go. Pardon me. Look, a cow. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Oh. Hmm. Hey, how's it going? That thing's about to fade. Where's this take me? Uh oh. Okay, good. Here's a chance to refuel my uh, thing. Unbar this. It's over here. Okay, so it just loops around now. So it's a shortcut. Good. 
but more importantly, I get to refuel my thing and save one of my, hey, I'm not a threat kind of messages. I'm totally supposed to be here. This is barred, right? Yeah. So I gotta go around somehow. Don't run, you'll waste our charges. You know, going in here to this place guns blazing would be far easier, but what's, what's fun of that? What's the fun of going in guns blazing when I have the option of just being super sneaky while walking in plain sight? Oh shit, my charge is about to fall off. Shit. Shit. Here, Dr. En uh, Endicott can vouch for me. If I may guess, she's still holding the catch-up packet incident over Holt's head, right? Yep. We've talked to her before. She can't keep letting her special friends down here. Hey, I'm extra special. Just get out of here. I don't want to catch you hanging around. That's, you know, that's fair, that's fair. That's fine. Don't, don't worry, I'm just gonna get going. Sweet. Okay. I could just jump down, but... Now I gotta hurry. Unbar this door. Get the cryostasis juice. Wait, what? Let's see. View lab notes. Live human trial. The addition of dimethyl sulfide to the current round of tests has resulted in such in some improvements. Subjects are cert are showing improved circulation and increased neural activity. However, our formula is still missing something. We are still unable to fully revive subjects from the long-term hibernation, and removing their supply of dimethyl sulfide results in the rather excruciating death. Ugh. The problem is the compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects multiple times over their lives. To make matters worse, we've had a hard time securing additional dimethyl sulfoxide. We may not have to we may have to make do with this batch well further information let's see without inconclusive those walk wells we'll take all of it oh Oh, I, mm-mm, nope, <laughs> mm, -mm, mm mm I feel real bad, um, I can't do it, I can't just kill people like that, I'll feel like trash. Okay, okay, I understand, I understand, I understand, mm -mm. <laughs> The fact that I can slowly see and hear them like that, I thought if I just took, mm, -mm. Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad I saved there. Because I don't Oh wait, what? Wait, no 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 no. I am not taking any more hate from the board. I already have enough. Annual toss ball series. Nice. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Seeing Ellie and Parvati just run back and forth like that. This isn't suspicious at all. I'm not suspicious, I swear. Oh, wait. Shoot. You know what I forgot to do? I don't have the access to restrict the area thing here, do I? Nope. So, I need to head back up. I actually have to get that key card from there. <laughs> uh... So I gotta do it when their backs are turned though. I don't need any more hate from the board. I'm already on pretty thin ice with them, more or less. Rumor has it someone's pulling doubles until the retirement district is uh, repaired. Hey, if you can like just scooch over. Yeah, yeah, yeah just 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 come on. You you don't need to be here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you turn around too and just. Nice. nice. There we go. Okay, now let's do this again without killing everybody. Hopefully this is more than enough to, ooh. Hopefully this amounts more than enough to get through here if we're uh, Phineas to do his research. He seems like the mad genius kind of type to be able to do this without needing a stupid amount of this stuff, right? It just dawned on me why the elevator didn't start up. It wants you to do like Metal Gear Solid like level shenanigans where you're supposed to like re-hide, wait for the elevator to come up before kind of sneaking back inside really fast. There we go. Oh yeah, so the thing moves down far faster if you're sprinting. So don't sprint, got it. What's up? Uh, is it this way? Hey, how's it going? Let's get a chance to refuel my thing again. Where's my elevator music? You know what the best elevator, uh, the best in a loading screen elevator was? Mass Effect, the original Mass Effect. Because they always had, the companions always had conversations between each other, so it was just great. Hearing Garrus, Rex being like, yo, did you just betray everything you know in your culture? Just do what you want to do? Yup. Dude, you're badass. And stuff like that was great, you know? And then in Mass Effect 3 in the Citadel DLC was just, hey, how much fan service should we put in this DLC? Yes. Um, there was another elevator scene, and Rex would be able to talk, and you'd have, depending on what crew members you had, they were talking to each other too. And it was just great, because it was adorable. Shoots, I'm gonna trigger. Shoots. Hey, hey, hey. How embarrassing, I must have left it at home. Doubt it, my story involves three sprats, a half drained stun baton, and a gallon of stimu lotion. Are you sure? Okay, okay. You got it. Are you sure? It's a pretty interesting story. Dude, I got that baton so... Dude, stop. Okay, okay, okay. Yeesh. Yeah, let me not kill everybody in this room this time. Man, I felt bad as shit. And the fact that you heard them just gurgling and just dying incredibly painfully. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Per the information. Okay. Okay, good. See? No one has to die now. By the way, if you can hear the rain outside, I hope it's not too cumbersome, you know? And we are out of here. For a while. It's okay if you don't like it. Actually, it's perfect. Virginia it is. Oh, Ellie. Parvati. You're just, just so cute. Anyway, well, we got our, what we needed. Hopefully this is enough that he can use his massive super science brain to do this. Oop. Sorry about that. And with that, let us head back to Mr. Phineas. Please don't sell me you're using me for just my... God, I really hope you're not just using me, Phineas. Please don't just be using me. Please tell me you actually want what's best for the colonies. Some crew member 
pirates are causing a disturbance on the ship. Ooh, this is new, I think. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? <laughs> That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the scorecard. Uh, I've already heard the scene this one, actually. Darn it. Do I have any extra unique weaponry that I need to put away, by the way? Yes, I have this unique headgear. Let's put this away before I accidentally scrap it. Captain Hawthorne seems to be more dashing. Was that... Was that shots at me or the shots of the or your captain? Because he died. Either way, that's kind of messed up, Ada. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. What's wrong with my... What's wrong with this? Oh, she comments on my if things. You don't mind my saying, Captain. Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. He Thanks. A message from Adjutant Sophia Akane. What? No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. Hi. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I'm just getting started. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A run-down backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewar, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You're not going to save them? You almost sound like you approve. Not always. <laughs> For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are. Flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your way. Well, technically it wasn't Before fully stolen. Know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. I'm not sure I can trust you yet. Then let me help you make up your mind. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. How did you find my ship? There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an Aetherwave drama. That's fair. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Is murder one of them? Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You really want me to sell... Hmm. You really want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. I... Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? I haven't really been given a reason to trust the board over Wells, so I mean, I'm just going to keep going with Wells at this point. That's just... You can't just come up out of the blue and say, like, hey, you should trust me. Why? What have you done to deserve my trust, board? Other than show me how corrupt and unwilling to do your jobs you are. I Obviously, both sides are lying about certain things. I don't believe Wells is 100% good. And, and I don't believe everyone on the board is 100% evil. But, like, what options do I really have? Hell no. Forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes. Well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. 
situation. It's getting worse. The, the cherry plans on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Find your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are all the chemicals I can get. Any more, I would have killed the subjects. Please don't. There needs to... <sighs> Hell no. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. He no, no, no. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful, gibbering law. You're a genius. Actually, no, technically Parvati's a genius. She's just boosting my engine. Oh, okay, never mind. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space right next to my lab. The hope's probably damaged. You'll have to rigor at the power from the un unreliable. about skip drives, not their physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. I mean, what about everything else has this been saying? It's a little bit worrying, not gonna lie. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Would I've got some questions? Certainly. How can I help? Should I expect any resistance? Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hmm. I don't feel like, I feel like he's trying to help, but he's not looking at the big picture. So yeah, okay, so here's my here's my dilemma, right? 
the board has the right idea in theory where it's clear that there's not enough to go around for everybody but they also have the mindset of treating people like slaves right so let's say that i don't know 10 20 years down the line they eventually figure out how to fix all of us then we're just stuck where we were before with a very corrupt upper management treating people like actual slaves as opposed to if we free these cult hope colonists now we're your chances are we're going to be dooming people because we're not going to have enough food to eat in general yo this literally is just fallout but in space because <laughs> that's like the literally the problem of fallout 3 right you need water anyway i am going to go with wells right because i cannot trust the board to do the right thing after i've seen everything going on so far where at least it feels like while phineas is probably is using me he does feel like he wants the he wants the best for everyone even if it is clear he's using me people aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of terror too Huh. All right, no more questions. I'm ready, I guess. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problem. Actually, yes, exactly that. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. The adjacent asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab. I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. I'm sorry, what? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. Uh, are, are you you're sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Oh, uh, okay. I want to talk to you about the hope. Oh, I can't talk about anything else. Okay. Skip it across. What could go wrong? Does the board, like, want to shoot me on sight right now? I'm not kill on sight. Okay, good. I'm bitter. But they don't want to shoot me on sight. That is good. Let's see. Okay, I guess he wants me to do this. Send corrupted tracking signal. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, what am I gonna raise? Persuades 101. I'm gonna get my sneak up higher. I feel like I'm probably gonna be sneaking a lot in this next part. Yeah. Well, I guess this is it. I think we're at the end here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this. Hmm. Hmm. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. Hmm. Well. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Oh, really? I'm guessing it's just talking about how they're like, hey, I'm trying to piss you off and failing. Hey, Max. We gotta talk about this. Yes. You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? I used to think that. But not anymore. Then, wait, why do you sound so calm? Aren't you getting annoyed? Not in the least. But I do apologize, Dr. Fenhill. It sounds like I have annoyed you. Fine. Be that way. So, what do you want to talk about, Felix? Oop, sorry. You know, they're going to make a serial about our adventures one day. Probably. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. 
It's not a bad name. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Honestly, I like the skip job. It's not bad, Felix. Our venture cereal is going to need a name, too, though. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of a system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. I like the first one, to be honest. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of I Love. Uh, God, I prefer the Adventures of I Love video games and company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. This is going to be great. I can't wait. Is that a pig behind you? I like your attitude, Felix. Enough to boost my pay? I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. Nah, you just get to come on for the sure ride. I've got plans to make. As for me, I got to keep practicing my signature drop kick. The hope might have cameras. <laughs> okay, that's not a pig. I thought there was like a pig in the background for a second there. I'm pretty sure everyone has like commentary. In fact, I should see everyone's commentary. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with. This. Was that what was that thing on the left side of my so screen? Me, what are we going to do? I don't know yet. Well, when you figure it out, you can count on me to back your play. Thanks, Max. Your ability to get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Anything you would like to discuss? No, not really. Hey, Yoka, how do you feel about all this? Hey, Cap. Oh, God, no. You were staying right here. Yo, Ellie, how do you feel about this? So we're really going to do this? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Terra 2's orbit right under the board's nose? I mean, I'm not sure, but he's our best chance. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. Nilka's right there. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story. You know, if we survive. We'll survive this. We got this. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony. What about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? What about you? You're still with me. I'll do anything for a good story. And nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. Oh, you like me. But I asked you first. Fair. People house hand deserve a chance. So the colonists and the hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? We can only hope for the former. We'll pull together. I'm confident in that. We human beings, when the chips are down, are really good at finding ways to pull ourselves out of the shit. You're too trusting. And I'm going to remember that when I negotiate for my cut of our reward, okay? <laughs> well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Thanks. Anything else? Oh, uh, not really. Let's go. Yo, Parvati, what you got to say? I'm not talking to Sam. I haven't used Sam from the start, not using him now. What happened to the cows? Are oh, Parvati? Parvati, where are you? That's spooky. So where's Parvati at? It makes sense that he can't use the ladder though, so he just like jumps up and down. Let's see, there's Max, there's Felix, there's Nyoka. Where's Parvati at? Parvati. Oh Parvati. Where are you? Parvati. Where'd she go? Huh. Strange. No, oh, whatever. Captain, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Okay. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. 
Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Byzantium's a big place. Actually, no. How do I know this isn't a trap? Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's go. Well, I think it's only fair that we do give her a talk. I'm not going to go with her, but let's give her a little talk. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Onward. Spacer's Choice Diet Toothpaste. When buying and selling from a vendor, your best dialogue skill, lie, persuade, or intimidate, is automatically used to negotiate. Wait, Parmody? Where'd you take damage from? Hmm. Did you, like, face the floor or something? Not so fast. Hello. Alright, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go Thanks. <laughs> Vending machines. Why is there an elevator? God damn it, you couldn't just have stairs. Make my life harder, why don't you? <laughs> oh, hey! Why, hello, Sophia. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Sweet. Could have been meaning to turn him in. You'll find that working for the board is spiritually and financially. Can, can, you, hear, can you guys hear me rolling my eyes? That isn't why I asked you here. I understand you've infiltrated the ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking. Even disturbing. A little bit. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. At least for this corner of the universe, I know this galaxy. Come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. How do you know her? We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. And you didn't send anything? The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel, but I'm not doing this for any personal gain. Yeah, sure. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing... Maybe less. not mismanaging people and treating them like slaves. The isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. Just tell me what you need. Actually, no, we need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. You honestly don't believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, do you? The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. Sure. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. Sure. The program is logical. It's reasonable. It's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. Mean like all you guys have been working? I saw the presentation. Rockwell wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. But you know, fuck everybody else, right? Let me execute the lifetime employment program. And you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. What about everyone else? What does any of this have to do with me? Actually, no, what's your take on all this? 
When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked, even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. Greed? What do you mean, the how? I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We had become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. She, this chick is easily lawful evil. That's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. I admit. I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my That's called a dictatorship. All those have failed. Have no idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels. It's positive. Holy shit, you are straight lawful evil girl. How long do we have? Actually, you know what? No more questions. Uh, tell me why you wanted to see me. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. What about it? Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Operations have ground to a halt. You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. I um, don't understand. What did Edgewater do to deserve this? When you diverted power to the botanical lab, you spelled the end of Edgewater. But the town is still hanging on, still living off whatever meager resources we send them. With every passing day, Edgewater leeches more of our limited resources. The town is a rotting limb, and we must be surgeons. You're talking about human lives here. Edgewater's workers consume six times as many resources as they produce. The best thing that town can do for its colony... Easy for you to say you're not the one who's going to be executed. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you... No, you're asking me to be a murderer. Edgewater is a necrotic... Holy shit. Yeah, it's really easy to say, do this thing. Just like that, Edgewater's not pro productive anymore, so we wipe them off the planet? We don't have any other option. A colony is on the verge of collapse, and we no longer have the luxury of easy solutions. You're completely insane. No, allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. Then you go do it. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I know. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. You're right. Walk out of here. The answer's no. Make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you. And I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Go to hell, Sophia. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared to be fighting a lot of people in this room. Thank you for body. Well, I was trying to, I was on the fence on whether or not I was going to try to be civil with the board. But now, this makes my decision real easy. I feel sorry for Percival though. I didn't want to kill him. The board hates me now, don't they? Fair enough. I wouldn't want to be allied with people who are like, Oh yeah, it's totally okay to kill other people. It's for the greater good. Hear that nonsense way too much. For the greater good, my ass. You guys are the ones who let the who let society fall to this point. You don't get to just get to kill people and decide that it's okay now. As you can tell, I'm kind of heated after that.
that said, I think it's a pretty, it's not a decent place to stop, but I think that's where I'm going to stop for now. So, we have decided, screw the board. For everyone out there watching, though, thank you. I want you to have a good morning, evening, day, or night. And I think next episode is probably going to be our final episode. But for right now, I'm out. I'm going back to Monster Hunter before work, though. <laughs> anyway, later.